Welcome and happy Halloween, everyone. We are happy you are joining us for this year's virtual edition of Science Spooktacular 2021. You are in for lots of cryptic chemistry and phantom physics demonstrations, thanks to our mad scientists in the SFU chemistry and physics departments. We have a few friendly safety reminders, especially for all the kids watching today. All science demonstrations you are about to see were done by trained scientists in controlled environments. Please do not try any of these demonstrations at home. Make sure to watch all nine science demonstration videos. Then pick your favorite one and submit your choice in the poll link on our website. If you select the winning video, we will send you a prize. How cool and exciting is that? Is everyone excited? Is everyone ready? <laughs> Let's start off with demo number one, making ice cream using liquid nitrogen. Watch this. Liquid nitrogen is approximately negative 200 degrees Celsius. Its boiling temperature is negative 195.8 degrees Celsius. Rather than using a freezer, we make ice cream by pouring liquid nitrogen over the cream. The nitrogen quickly evaporates leaving us with this delicious result. Wasn't that cool? Let's move on to demo number two, shattering a frozen pumpkin. Watch closely. The pumpkin is extremely brittle because it was frozen to negative 200 degrees Celsius using liquid nitrogen. It shatters into small pieces when hit with a bowling ball. That was awesome. Are you carving a pumpkin this Halloween? Now it's time for demo number three, firing rockets out of a black hole. Take a look at this. Black holes are called black because nothing can escape them, even light. You can build a rocket from an old plastic bottle. Make a tiny hole in the cap and fill the rocket with just a bit of ethanol or pure alcohol. The fumes will ignite and propel the rocket. Oh wow, so exciting. Moving on to demo number four, spinning a tray with a glass full of wine. The wine stays in the glass because of the centrifugal force caused by the rotation. The centrifugal force counters the force of gravity when the cup is upside down and prevents the spill. Cool, how did that work? We're almost halfway through our videos. Make sure you remember your favorite one to answer the online poll question. Now it's time for demo number five. Upside down cup capped by a paper card. This will be magical. When the cup is turned upside down, the volume above the liquid is at a lower pressure than the air outside. The outside pressure pushing on the paper card is enough to support the weight of the liquid in the cup. We are now ready for demo number six. Whip off the tablecloth. You don't want to miss this one. Whip off the tablecloth because the cups and the teapot have mass and therefore have inertia, it's time for them to start moving. So, 
If one pulls the tablecloth from underneath them very quickly, they simply don't have time to react. Again, kids, do not try this at home with your dishes. All right, this is getting even more exciting. Let's take a look now at demo number seven, turning water into wine, milk and beer. Do you think we can do this? Let's watch. Turning water into wine, milk, and beer. Cool chemical reactions are used to transform a liquid from transparent to red to white to yellow. Oh wow, science seems like magic, doesn't it? We're almost done everyone, just two more demos to go. Let's look at demo number eight, cooking eggs using liquid nitrogen. Who would have thought? Liquid nitrogen freezes the egg on the frying pan and makes it look just like a nicely done Sunny side up. More magic in the kitchen, but again, please do not try this at home. Time for the last, but certainly not the least, demo. Demo number nine. Making caterpillar hair stand up. You need to see this one. The Van de Graaff machine generates electric charge on the metal sphere, which gets transferred to the caterpillar sitting on top. The charge spreads all over the caterpillar, including its hair. Because all of that charge is of the same kind, either all positive or all negative, and since like charges repel, charged hairs repel each other and stand up. And there you have it, all nine magical yet scientific demonstrations. We hope you had a lot of fun watching them and learned something about science too. Before we go, we just want to repeat our friendly safety reminders for all the kids watching today. Each of the science demonstrations you saw were done by trained scientists in controlled environments. Please do not try any of these demonstrations at home. Thanks again to all our friends at SFU Departments of Chemistry and Physics for all these cool, fun science demonstrations. Don't forget to visit our polling link and enter your favorite demonstration. If you select the winning video, we will send you a prize. We hope to see you in person for SFU's Science Spooktacular next year. 
Have a safe and happy Halloween from SFU Science. <laughs>